Hey guys, Dread Captain James here. My voice is a bit ruined tonight, so AI is standing in for me. In this vid, we're going to talk about how to find a hotspot when there isn't one within range of your survey device, so stick around. So, when you're using the survey device, sometimes it will show that there are no nearby hotspots. This might be true, but it will still tell you the correct direction to search, and all you have to do is use your ears. If you listen to the different pings they will change when you are facing the right direction. If you are looking in the wrong direction, the left or right side will ping with a lower tone. Slowly pan left or right until you hear a higher pitched and center tone, and that is the direction you want to head. After you have headed in that direction for a while, try your scanner again and see if you are within range of the hotspot. You might have to head in that direction for a while, but eventually, you'll be within range. Also check and see if you're still heading in the right direction by listening for that higher pitch tone, and if you hear the lower one, start panning back and forth again to reacquire it. notice that the sound that indicates you are heading in the right direction is the same tone that plays when you actually within range and the survey device is indicating you're headed the right way. Once you've found and identified a hotspot, if it's not the one you're looking for, head in a north or south direction for about 1000 units and you will discover that you can scan again. I generally tend to head either north or south so that I always have a point I can head towards, and that keeps me from doubling back over my previous tracks. This method works for minerals, gases, and electromagnetic power sources, so as long as you can identify that sound, you have a lead on the general direction of that hotspot. This is a decent hotspot for phosphorus, so I'm going to put up a base here for anyone to use and drop the coordinates in our discord and I'll post them here in the description. If you would like to use it, please swing by and take what you need. I ask you turn off multiplayer before emptying the depots so they stay full for everyone else if you remember. I've included a few amenities as well on the base like a teleporter, landing pad, and large refiner for you to use as you would like. Thanks for checking out this super quick video, and I hope it's something that helps you out in your travels. I know this is probably old knowledge to a lot, but it could help newer players, and maybe some veterans might not even know. So, thanks again, please make sure to like the video, comment your thoughts, and a sub to the channel is super helpful. Come and see me while I'm streaming at Twitch. TV slash Dreadcaptain James. I'll see you in the next vid, take care, and thanks again.